Michelle Abraham has everything you need to know, from local leads and celebrity interviews to trending topics and more. Right now on Good Day Stateline. Hi and welcome to Good Day Stateline. It's Thursday, June 22nd. We're kicking things off tonight with the one and only Harvey Levin from TMZ. Hey Harvey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. You know, you are always working on giant projects. Tonight we've got a TMZ Investigates, The Miracle Children of the Amazon. Tell us about this one. Well, I got to say, um, when we found out a week ago Saturday that these kids, these four kids, um, ages 13, 9, 4, and 11 months, survived a plane crash uh, that killed all the adults on board, including their mom, and then survived in a treacherous Amazon jungle where, you know, death lurks at every turn for 40 days and 40 nights. I mean, it sounds like something out of the Old Testament, yeah. but it's not. And that seemed enough for us to launch this documentary and fly people to Colombia. And so we got, um, you know, amazing video of the rescue and the search. And we talked to all sorts of people like the parents and the, the, the father rather, and the maternal grandparents, politicians there, um, survivalists, the rescue team. And we figured that would be the documentary. There is so much more to this story, it turns out. For example, um, days before these kids were, were rescued, um, days before, the rescuers came within earshot of the kids. The kids hid from the rescuers. They hid and they were hurt, they were hungry, yet they hid. And the question then becomes why? And I think we got, I mean, we made some ground here mm -hmm. that what, what happened was you have these, this insurgent group in this area that was targeting the father of these kids and possibly the family, wanted to kill them. The father had actually fled. And the reason the plane was flying with the family is they were flying to the father in a different city to get away from the insurgents. There are people who think either, either these kids were afraid that the rescuers were actually insurgents who were going to kill them or that these kids um that, that 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 the insurgents actually got to the kids and were holding them for ransom or something like that and the reason that's really interesting is the president of colombia two weeks before the kids were found announced they were found he was wrong and he took it back the next day and a lot of people think he was negotiating with the insurgents and it fell apart and the reason that's particularly interesting is the day they were found, June 9th, a week ago Saturday, that day, the president signed a peace accord with those insurgents. Well, just listening to you talk about that for a couple minutes uh, makes me want to hear more. So obviously it's a good thing you got an entire special uh, diving into this uh, tonight. It's incredible to me that you are able to create all of this in just a short amount of time. A lot of the time, sometimes you're investigating things that happened in the past and kind of bringing us back. This is like basically yesterday. Well, I got to tell you, my staff did an amazing job because it is nine days and they, they did an incredible job. I've covered many, many stories over many, many decades. And this is one of the most incredible. And boy, we get into other stuff, too. I just want to tell you one other quick thing sure. that, you know, everybody thinks now that the kids are are safe. They're big national celebrities, which they are. And there are opportunities there. But there's something kind of an unintended consequence. In Colombia, ransom is currency. And these kids now have a target on their head because they're worth a lot. So the government's trying to figure out where should they live mm -hmm. and who should take care of them. So there are all sorts of things going on with this case. Well, we are definitely going to tune in tonight. TMZ investigates the miracle children of the Amazon. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. And. And just so you know, and it's on at 7 o'clock tonight on Fox. Perfect. Well, we will be tuning in. Thank you. My pleasure. We'll be right back with our friends from Rockford University after your good day moments.